Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kai. So I guess I owe you an explanation as to why it took me so long to make the second video. So I made my first video back in February and then in March, one of my close friends passed away. That was really hard because for the last three years, I've been dealing with some stuff after being robbed at gunpoint. I want to show you a little clip. Well, Michael, ironically, it was the stolen electronics themselves that allowed police to track down the suspects after they left this T-Mobile store earlier tonight. <laughs> stolen electronics leading Torrance PD straight to this car and the robbery suspects inside. Hands up! If you don't want to get shot, get your hands up! Four men arrested at gunpoint tonight. Turn away from me. Some really heavy stuff, but if you want to see the rest of the clip, I'll attach it to the end of the video. So, I also have some other news. I quit my job, and on top of that, I moved back up to Northern California. And then, if that wasn't enough, I'm going to be traveling, backpacking to Europe for two months. So hopefully, you'll join me in my journey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. If you don't want to get shot, get your hands up. No at 11, four suspects in custody tonight after robbing a T-Mobile store with customers still inside. NBC 4's Kate Larson live in Torrance with how police tracked down those suspects. Kate. Well, Michael, ironically, it was the stolen electronics themselves that allowed police to track down the suspects after they left this T-Mobile store earlier tonight. Stolen electronics leading Torrance PD straight to this car and the robbery suspects inside. Hands up! If you don't want to get shot, get your hands up! Four men arrested at gunpoint tonight. Turn away from me, slide step to your right. Two and a half miles from this T-Mobile store on PCH in Torrance, where police say 10 minutes before closing at 6 p.m., the alleged robbers came into the store armed with guns. Sources say the suspects forced two employees and one customer into a lockup cage in the back of the store before taking off with a bunch of stolen iPads and iPhones. But thanks to tracking devices in those electronics, police were able to find and arrest the suspects minutes later. Now, fortunately, nobody was hurt tonight. I'm told that there are surveillance cameras inside the T-Mobile store and that the store will be back open for business as usual tomorrow. Live in Torrance, I'm Kate Larson, NBC4 News. Back to you.